sounds dry. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another vivid visual episode and in today's video as you can see behind me we have Papa's car sitting here looking nice and pretty in black with the carbon fiber on the roof and we actually have Papa here with us and he's going to break down what we have done to the car, what he's done to the car and his modifications so far that he has installed before we get into the rest of today's episode. So Papa, why don't you break down what is uh, installed to your car here. Okay, so far visually, as you can see, what I have is the uh, carbon fiber hood. Okay. Um, of course, I installed the Lifesaver dash cam, as you can see over here. So if you go under the hood, I have these Burger Motorsport braces, Clean. which is 10 times better than the stock one because the stock on the aluminum is it's really light. Right. You bend so quick versus this. Um, I also have the uh, engine intakes. Yeah, I had them on good. my 2019. I like them, so I had them on my 2022. Right. And then, of course, of course, I cannot the go JB4. without this. The JB4 is a must. With the JB4, they added two things, which is the, I think, EWG for your for your boost and the new um, fuel wire connector. So instead of you know making the that uh, pinch that you put on the thing to make a fuel oh, wire. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, okay. now they come with a connector. Oh, nice. Yep, so that's that. So when it comes to the interior. And I know a lot of people who have not done JB4, they haven't done a, an aftermarket piggyback. Mm -hmm. There, are, Some people are still worried and cautious about it. How safe is having a piggyback on your car? Is it okay? Is it gonna avoid your warranty? What's up with that? Well, uh, the piggyback um, is not like a ECU tune or nothing to that nature. So if you have any service, you know, you can remove your JB4 in five minutes. Their customer service is A1. Always, always are. Terry will always get involved. Yep. What I have so far is the Arc Midpipe. Okay. I also had them on my 2019 and I was very satisfied. That's why I went back with the same setup. So today what we are going to install is my uh, Borla Catback which is already at your house. And then I have a couple more goodies in the trunk, if you want to see. Yes. So what I have here, that's the uh, Velocitec, Ooh. the lid kit. So the one that changed that's, color. That's the new one. Yes, and I think it's going to look mean in the front of the car. Yeah. It's when you turn so it on, bad. I think it's going to look so Especially badass. Especially with the black car, dude. Oh my God. Yeah. These are some heat shield, carbon fiber heat shield oh, for nice. my engine intakes. So, Oh, just to cover your intake. Yeah, to cover your intake. And, and then the people nice that made them are from ADD. The okay. That made the oil catch so you can, can get it on their website. Yes, if you go to their website. And how right much now, is it roughly? I think like somewhere around 130, 140, somewhere not around bad. there. Not yeah. bad at all. These are my underglow because when I spec'd out my car, I didn't have the, I didn't get the uh, the puddle light. Right. Oh, that, you yeah. know, this sure. factory. Sure. So I have these one up light. Uh, oh, underglow. Wow, cool. Yep, cool, there's cool. four of them, two on each side, one in the back and one in the front. And who's this from? One Up Lightning. Okay, and how much are they roughly? I think you can get them for less than $200. Not bad. For Not all bad four. at all, because I know a lot of people are going to see this and they're probably going to want it to their yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, after the installing is complete, we can do another cinematic video. We got Costa today doing some installations for us. Mm -hmm. uh, but, Papa, we haven't seen your car on the channel. The last time we seen it on the channel, it was. It was stock. You just bought it. Yep. Tommy! And we got my uncle. Tommy. Uncle coming out. How you doing? Good. Retired. You? This is his. This is his old school Corvette. Good. Good. So sick. Now he's, he's back on the Stinger. The Stinger <laughs> yep. game. What made you get this? Him. I like this one. <laughs> Me. Him. Yeah, yeah. I like okay. this model. Him. I do too. Oh, I got these Tommy because you know we work at a chemical plant. Yes. And even if you clean, you don't know when the chemical is going to follow you. Yes. So this I, I put on the seat because it's kind of yeah. like a towel over yeah. here. Keeps, and, uh, okay. and, uh, Keeps everything yep, protected. Yep, and the back is uh, waterproof. Yeah, oh, so, okay. So as you can see the back. Yep, <laughs> 30 years, I know. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. Not, not with these <laughs> new seats. We... What are you putting on? Uh, my exhaust and fiber hood. Yes, sir. Ooh, look at these tools. What you got there? You think this tool? You think this is fancy? Yeah. The tools. The, this box over here is a Craftman. That's Craftman right here. Okay. And the ratchet I'm holding on okay. is called Snap-on. Oh, okay. And that okay. particular ratchet alone 
Yeah. Cost more than this entire box. What? How much is that? This one is a hundred bucks. Okay. And this one is somewhere around 130, 140 dollars. Oh my god! For that alone. 160 actually. 160. 160. That's so ridiculous. these two, you can say you can buy three bucks of these. Visiting us. Oh, back home in Africa next month. Wow! Look at quarter. this thing. When they used to open up from front, going up. Yep, look at the headlight. Oh yeah, the headlights <laughs> are tucked in. That's hey, awesome. Your hood still opens the same way. Because <laughs> it's in the back and it's still going the same way. True. Yep. True. <laughs> Again. There we go. Mount it right under. Tuck it under here. And then it's sitting like right over here underneath this metal piece. Let's go. All right, now we got a voltmeter so we can test out what's going to work. Cool. <laughs> oh, you change the color? Yep. You'll go with music too. Yep. And then when you talk, you'll go with your voice too. Yeah. Look at it. How excited are you? It's beautiful. Yeah, it looks awesome, right? It came out yeah. really sweet. I wow. knew it was gonna look badass, wow. but I didn't know it was gonna look this badass. So with the bumper back on, right? It got it got darker, so it looks a lot better now. Yeah, it does. This goes by music. It's like right now, it's, oh, okay. it's going by the, the beat of the, the music. The music. Okay. You can add, you know, basically any color you want. Okay. To do what you need to, and then save it. And the custom, you could also like take a picture of something, and then that will be the color of the light. Yes. Yeah, that's cool. Yep. What else? Oh, pattern. That's yeah. cool. All right, so this is what it sounds like starting up the car with stock exhaust and arc mid pipes. Look at these wheels, these wheels look so good. Whew, look at that carbon fiber hood, oh my gosh. All right, so we're gonna do a poll for you guys. Papa, we're gonna do a little launch control for the peeps. Oh yeah. So just turn back around and oh, let's yeah. do that. Now that we got the beauty sitting extra freaking clean over here, oh my goodness. Woo, look at that sun shining on it too. Wow, dude. Seriously, so sick. What a beautiful vehicle Kia has made. Yes, How sir. How gorgeous. How gorgeous. It All right, is. Are, are you ready to put that Borla exhaust oh, on yeah. the car, dude? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm ready too. Yeah. Costa, what do we got? We got the jack. Right, so Costa, we got this Borla exhaust to unpack. This since is one my of the first install it in your yeah, race. yeah, it was my second. Yeah, it was the uh, intake, engine intake, and then the Borla exhaust right after. What we have in store for them? Ooh, Ooh. that's it. Unboxing done. Yep. <laughs> what else we got? Instructions. Instructions. Oh, yep, we don't need that either. Clamp. Nice. 
Yes. Ooh, that was the rubber grommet that like yep comes comes with that. And right if any, if anybody want to know wants to know, some of the rubbers yep. have bearings in them. Okay. So technically, muffler bearings do yeah. exist. Wow. There we go. Pop is actually not here right now, but he trusts me to work on his car. What the hell? No, 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 no. <laughs> Did that just crack the lens? No. Yeah, it's got all rollers. Say goodbye to the old exhaust. As we can see, the Borla exhaust is now on the car. Papa, why don't you give us a little startup? Papa, Woo. thoughts, impressions. Man, what do you think? Feels good. Sounds good. Sounds loud. Anything you don't like? I like it. You like it? I like it. That's the same setup I had on my 2019. Does it sound the same and everything? Um, yeah, it does sound the same, or maybe a little louder. Oh, and then we'll also get some in-cabin sounds as well. Yep. Mm -hmm.